everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a dinosaur book. This one's a little unusual because in this book, we find out what happens to dinosaurs at nighttime because this is called Dinosaurs After Dark. Dinosaurs After Dark. Hmm. Have you ever wondered what dinosaurs do in the dark when we go to bed at night? Well, there's a little boy in here who finds out because he follows the dinosaurs. We should go along with them, follow these dinosaurs, and find out what they do after dark. Are you ready to get into a dinosaur book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Dinosaurs After Dark, written by Jonathan Emmett, and Curtis Jobling. This is the story of Bobby, who was lonely in the night, and how, when everyone else was sleeping, he heard the sound of something sneaking softly past his window. Hmm, wonder what Bobby heard. And how he crept across the floor and took a peep outside and saw... A huge, enormous dinosaur! Wow, there's a dinosaur outside Bobby's window. So Bobby grabbed his robe and left his room and tiptoed down the stairs and through the hall out of the house into the city. What's Bobby gonna do? The monster crept from street to street, and Bobby followed after it. Past unlit shops and office blocks and dark, deserted buildings. Wow, he's following the dinosaur, and the dinosaur's leaving really big dinosaur prints. Until they reached the city square, and dinosaurs were everywhere. Oh my! Do dinosaurs come out at night when we go to sleep? But when they saw Bobby, they roared and ran and ch chased after him, chanting, Snatch him, munch him, catch him, crunch him, before he runs and tells on us. Ah, they're chasing Bobby. But Bobby promised not to tell and crossed it on his heart as well. And so... Instead of eating him, they let him join the fun, sliding down the rooftops above the city hall, climbing up the office blocks, then jumping off them all. Wow, the dinosaurs are letting Bobby play with them. Splashing in the fountains and swinging from the cranes, racing through the station and playing with the trains. Underground and in the air, those dinosaurs played everywhere. That's what dinosaurs do at night. I never knew that. Now for one last game, they cried, of hide and seek. And you can hide. Yes, you can hide and we will seek you. But if we find you, we might eat you, say the dinosaurs. Bobby's like, no! So Bobby ran and ran and ran until he found somewhere snug and safe and secret where nobody would find him. And he curled up small and held his breath and listened for the sound of the dinosaur feet. But all he heard was his own heart thumping slower and slower and slower until he fell fast asleep. Then someone did find him and picked him up and carried him through the night back to his bed, where he sighed and smiled and slept. Look, dinosaurs carrying him home. Until morning! Wow, I thought it was just a dream, but look, he looked outside, and there's those big dinosaur footprints! 
Wow, Bobby had a lot of fun with those dinosaurs. At first I thought they were going to eat them, but then they played with him, and then they got hungry, and Bobby went running to hide. But then they carried him home and put him in his bed. See, I thought maybe it was just a dream, but then look, there's dinosaur footprints outside his window. They must have been out there after dark. This was a crazy, silly book, and I'm glad we now we know how dinosaurs get get together and play after dark. Silly dinosaurs. That's not something we can do because it's time for all my little dinosaurs to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And if you hear any dinosaurs out your window tonight, stay in bed. Don't follow them into town. That would not be a safe thing to do. I need you to stay in bed right where you belong. And tomorrow, if you see any dinosaurs out playing in the street, ask mom and dad what you should do about it. And whatever mom and dad say, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.